Hi and welcome to another 5 minute session and this time I will introduce you to vertex colors and how we can use that to create more flexible material. So I have the Susan monkey here, I have subdivided it just three times and right now we can go from object mode into something called vertex paint. And if we are in vertex paint then we can paint this monkey in something called vertex colors. And before we do that, we can go to this object data properties and go to color attributes. And here you can see that we already have a color attribute. So as soon as you enter vertex paint, it will create a color attribute for you. And you can double click and call it uh, like vertex colors or something like this so we know what it is and now we can do a lot of stuff with this one uh, the first thing I can do is yes I can go and make this black here and then I can go to paint and I can press ctrl x or set vertex colors like this and now it is black if I just look at this uh, viewport shading here and not the rendered view. So here we can see how the vertex colors look. And then I can change this to like red. So if I just take this to RGB and let red be one and green and blue zero, then I can start to paint. So I can move, I can paint around here and I can paint here for instance. I can paint the nose like this if I want to and um, perhaps the mouth as well so then we have painted everything red here we can change the color and perhaps use blue instead and then I can paint the ears inside here with blue if I want to like that this is not uh, some finished material this is more like data for the material to use. So you can say that every color here can then be information to the material how to uh, create the material and by that you can do uh, use the same material on different objects and depending on how these objects are painted you get a different result. So now we have this and I can go out to object mode so we have it like this and then in rendered view. And if I now press Shift A and go to input, then we have attribute here. And we also have another input, Shift A input, where we can select a color attribute. You can use both of these. And in this one, you get a list. And in this one, you have to write. So here you have to write the scores like this. If I just take the color right in here, you can see now this is how it looks. And the same if I use this one, it's how it looks. So they work with the same. And, but now I can just separate uh, the color for X, uh, X, Y, Z. I just use for red, for instance. And then you can see that we get white on the red parts here. So if I now use uh, the blue, I get the ears, as you can see here. So if I now go back to this monkey by using vertex paint and I start to use blue on this part, then you can see it gets white uh, in my material here because I told them that blue will be used as the base color here. So that means that I can put in patterns, do whatever I want and control the material so it just uses the vertex colors. So if you have a cube that you have painted blue, uh, completely blue, Th that will be white because everything is white on that cube. If you have it like here, where I just painted the front and the ears, that part will be blue, but not the other thing. The other thing will be black. So depending on the vertex colors on each object, you get different results out on the same material. I will not change the material. It will just use these things uh, for the cube or for the monkey. 
uh, but still we get different results. So it's a really good thing to use and I will go really deep into it later on. But this is just an introduction how you can use a vertex colors to change the information in your material for different types of objects. So hopefully you learned something this time as well and I see you tomorrow and say bye for now.